It started with a faint blip on a telescope in Chile, a speck of light moving where it shouldn't. On July 1, 2025, astronomers with the Atlas survey caught sight of something extraordinary. An interstellar visitor, officially named C-2025-N1 Atlas, or more evocatively, 3I Atlas, the third confirmed object from beyond our solar system to grace our cosmic neighborhood. Unlike anything born in our stellar backyard, this object follows a path so peculiar, so statistically improbable, that it's left scientists buzzing with questions. Is it just a comet? A chunk of ice and dust flung from a distant star? Or could it be something more? A hint of something engineered? A whisper from the void? The discovery of 3I Atlas isn't just another space rock sighting, it's a puzzle that challenges our understanding of the universe, and today, we're diving deep into its story. From its bizarre trajectory to the tantalizing possibility of a signal that's got everyone talking, buckle up because this cosmic mystery is about to take us on a wild ride. If you're as fascinated by the unknown as I am, hit that like button and subscribe for more journeys into the cosmos. Let's start with the basics. 3I Atlas was spotted by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, a network of telescopes designed to catch objects that could pose a threat to Earth. Operating out of Rio Hurtado, Chile, ATLAS is a cosmic watchdog, scanning the skies for anything out of the ordinary. On that fateful July day, it flagged a faint point of light moving at 58 kilometers per second, about 670 million kilometers from the Sun, roughly near Jupiter's orbit. That's 4.5 astronomical units for those keeping score, 1 AU being the distance from Earth to the Sun. What made this object stand out wasn't just its speed, but its path. Most comets and asteroids in our solar system follow elliptical orbits, looping back to the Sun like loyal pets. Not 3I Atlas. Its trajectory is hyperbolic, a one-way ticket through our system, never to return. This marks it as an interstellar interloper, born around another star, perhaps light years away. The International Astronomical Union's Minor Planet Center confirmed it, assigning the 3I prefix following in the footsteps of 1I saw Oumuamua in 2017 and 2I Borisov in 2019. Only three such objects have ever been confirmed, and each one is a rare gift from the cosmos, offering a glimpse into the chemistry and physics of distant worlds. What makes 3I Atlas so special? For starters, it's not just passing through, it's putting on a show. Early images from the Hubble Space Telescope revealed a fuzzy halo around the object, a coma of gas and dust stretching up to 15 miles across. This is the hallmark of a comet, where sunlight heats the icy nucleus, causing it to sublimate and release clouds of material. Estimates suggest the nucleus is small, likely under a kilometer wide, though some models put it as large as 5.6 kilometers. That's tiny compared to local comets like Hale-Bopp, but for an interstellar visitor, it's significant. The coma's presence was a surprise because not all interstellar objects show such activity. Oumuamua, for instance, was stubbornly inert, showing no signs of outgassing, which fueled speculation about its nature. 3I Atlas, by contrast, announced itself as a comet from the start its icy heart reacting to our sun's warmth. But it's not just the comet's appearance that's turning heads, it's where it's going and how it's getting there. If you're intrigued by this cosmic traveler, drop a comment below and let me know what you think it might be. The trajectory of 3I Atlas is where things get downright bizarre. Its orbital inclination is a jaw-dropping 175 degrees, meaning it's moving almost perfectly retrograde, opposite to the planet's motion, and skimming just 5 degrees off the ecliptic plane, the imaginary disk where our planets orbit. Statistically, the odds of an interstellar object aligning so closely with our solar system's plane are about 0.2%, or 2 in 1,000. That's already a cosmic coincidence. But it gets stranger. As 3I Atlas barrels through, it's set to pass unusually close to three major planets, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. According to calculations from researchers at Harvard, Caltech, and JPL, the probability of such a triple flyby happening by chance is 0.005%, 1 in 20,000. To put that in perspective, it's like tossing a dart from across the galaxy and hitting a bullseye the size of a pinhead. 
In early October 2025, it'll skim within 30 million kilometers of Mars, a cosmic hair's breadth, with similarly tight approaches to Venus and Jupiter. Each encounter is timed with eerie precision, making this object's path look less like a random wander and more like a carefully choreographed dance. Share this video with a friend who loves a good mystery. This one's a doozy. Why does this matter? Because a trajectory this precise raises questions that science can't easily dismiss. Most interstellar objects tumble into our system at odd angles, their paths chaotic and unrelated to our planets. 3i slash Atlas, however, is practically hugging the ecliptic, moving in a way that maximizes its encounters with our worlds. Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb, never one to shy away from bold ideas, has pointed out that if you wanted to design a probe to study multiple planets while staying hard to spot, this is the path you'd pick. The object's perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun, happens on the far side from Earth, obscured by the Sun's glare, making detailed observations during this critical phase nearly impossible. It's a natural blind spot, one that would be perfect for something, or someone, wanting to slip through unnoticed. Now let's be clear, there's no evidence yet that 3i slash Atlas is anything but a natural comet, but its path is so statistically unlikely that it's forcing scientists to at least entertain the possibility of something more. Loeb's team even ran simulations suggesting a reverse orbit maneuver at perihelion could allow a probe to use the sun's gravity to slow down, potentially dropping into orbit or deploying smaller devices toward nearby planets. It's a long shot, but the math checks out. Now, let's talk about that signal, the one that's got everyone from astronomers to Space Force analysts on edge. The United States Space Force operates a network called Space Fence, a radar array on Kwajalein Atoll that can detect objects as small as a marble in low Earth orbit. It's part of a broader system called the Space Surveillance Network, designed to track everything from satellites to space debris. Space Fence is so sensitive it can spot centimeter-sized fragments thousands of kilometers away, and it scans the sky continuously, logging thousands of objects daily. If something like 3i slash Atlas, or a signal tied to it, entered our system, Space Fence would likely notice. The Deep Space Advanced Radar Capability, or DARK, is another piece of the puzzle, with arrays in Australia, the UK, and the US designed to monitor the geosynchronous belt where communication satellites live. Together, these systems form a digital net, ready to catch anything unusual. Space Force's mission, called Space Domain Awareness, isn't just about tracking rocks, it's about identifying anomalies, including potential signals. While no declassified records confirm a transmission from 3i slash Atlas, the rumor of a signal, possibly a narrowband radio emission, has sparked intense speculation. If you're wondering what Space Force might know, hit that subscribe button to stay updated as this story unfolds. Catching a signal from space isn't as simple as tuning a radio. Astronomers use a rigorous process to separate cosmic whispers from the universe's background noise. The search often focuses on the waterhole band, a quiet slice of the radio spectrum between 1420 and 1666 megahertz, where interference is minimal. A candidate signal must pass several tests. First, it needs to show Doppler drift a change in frequency that matches the motion of a moving object, like the shifting pitch of a passing car. The famous WOW signal of 1977 passed this test, showing a drift consistent with a cosmic source, but it never repeated, which is another key hurdle. A true signal should reappear when telescopes point back at the same spot, or show up in data from other observatories. Astronomers also use an on-off test, pointing the telescope at the target and then at blank sky. If the signal vanishes when the telescope moves away, it's a good sign it's not local interference, like a satellite or a microwave oven. Machine learning now helps sift through millions of signals, flagging only those that survive every filter. Even then, most candidates turn out to be false positives, as seen with the BLC1 signal in 2020. Detected by the Parkes telescope while scanning Proxima Centauri, BLC-1 looked promising, persistent, drifting, and only present when pointed at the star. But after months of analysis, it was traced to human-made interference, a mix of electronic signals mimicking a cosmic source. 
This is why skepticism is the default in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI. Avi Loeb's work adds another layer to this story. In August 2025, he published the Loeb Scale, a system to classify interstellar objects based on how much they deviate from expected natural behavior. Rated from 0 to 10, a level 4 object, like Aumuamua and now 3i slash Atlas, shows multiple anomalies that resist easy explanation. For 3i slash Atlas, it's the triple planetary flyby, the retrograde orbit, and the precise alignment with the ecliptic. These traits don't scream alien technology, but they do raise questions that can't be brushed off. Loeb argues that if a civilization wanted to send a probe to study our system, it might choose a path like this, maximizing data collection while minimizing detection. The dark forest theory, a concept from astrobiology, suggests advanced civilizations might stay quiet to avoid threats, making stealthy probes a logical choice. While most astronomers lean toward natural explanations, the level 4 rating keeps 3i slash Atlas in the spotlight, a cosmic question mark demanding more data. Let's take a step back and look at the human side of this story. The discovery of 3i slash Atlas wasn't just a triumph of technology, it was a global effort. Amateur astronomers played a role spotting the object in pre-discovery images from mid-June, when it was nearly lost in the crowded star fields near the galactic center. The Zwicky Transient Facility and other surveys helped piece together its path, while NASA and JPL confirmed its interstellar nature. This kind of collaboration shows how far we've come since the days of lone astronomers peering through telescopes. Today, it's a network of professionals and enthusiasts, algorithms and observatories, all working together to catch the universe's fleeting visitors. Imagine being one of those amateurs, scanning images on your laptop and realizing you've helped discover something from another star. It's a reminder that space exploration isn't just for rocket scientists, it's for anyone curious enough to look up. So, where does 3i slash Atlas leave us? It's a comet, yes, but one that defies the odds with a trajectory that seems almost too perfect. Its close encounters with Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, combined with its retrograde orbit, make it a statistical unicorn. The signal rumor, while unconfirmed, adds a layer of intrigue, though decades of SETI research remind us to tread carefully. As we speak, telescopes worldwide are tracking 3i slash Atlas, capturing every detail before it fades into the interstellar void. The data we've gathered, its 175 degree inclination, it's 58 kilometers per s speed. It's 0.3 to 5.6 kilometers nucleus. Paints a picture of a rare but natural object, at least for now. Yet the questions it raises linger. Why this path? Why these flybys? And if there was a signal, what would it mean? The answers may lie in the next generation of observatories, or they may stay just out of reach. A cosmic tease from a universe that loves its secrets. One thing's for sure, 3 i slash Atlas has reminded us that the universe is vast, strange, and full of possibilities. If this journey into the unknown has sparked your curiosity, give this video a thumbs up, share it with a fellow space nerd, and let me know in the comments, do you think 3 i slash Atlas is just a comet, or could it be something more? Until next time, keep looking up!